Hey guys, so I want to talk about managing images in Revit. It's pretty simple. Um, I've got the Revit sample project open. It is a nice one because as you see on this, this title sheet, it's already got some images associated with it so we can kind of mess around with it and most people have access to this file. So if we're looking here, we have five images. So in the manage tab, over here on the manage project panel we can click the manage image button and we'll get the raster image so it'll give the 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 view of the image and then the name and then we'll get a count of each instance that's associated in this project and what's cool is it doesn't matter if it's visible in the project or not and for example that means that if that image is associated with a specific parameter within Revit it's gonna look at it like that and add it to account so if we assign images to walls it's gonna each time it's assigned to a new parameter or that specific image is copied throughout the project it's gonna give a new count and then from this dialog box we can actually delete them and another cool thing is we can add stuff from this dialog box so if I wanna add this image here it's gonna give a path to that location so that we can continuously update it if needed it's kinda of easy way to if we have a ton of parameters associated with that image we can update it in one spot so we can also delete it as well so if we delete let's for example this one which we can see here we have one instance delete that it's gonna tell me that hey this is we've got an instance out here in the project and you're about to delete it press OK press OK and now it's gone I'm gonna press control Z to go back go back up here and for every instance in there it's gonna remove them all so if you have 20 it'll get rid of it any other one workflow that people do is they they'll take their their seals and apply them to all the sheets and then afterwards you'll want to remove those because now the drawings aren't a time shot of that specific time that they sealed it so you're going to want to remove them and this is kind of going to be the area that you want to go to do that so you can do it pretty quickly you can just remove all of them so if I press OK we can see the way that this project set up that these renders are actually views so we can't take this view and copy it anywhere because it's gonna think we're trying to copy a view and not duplicate it so the way that we would get around that is by duplicating the view and the annoying thing is, is we can't copy the raster image from there to a sheet so if you just duplicate so if I just simply duplicate that view it's gonna give me the same one and now it's gonna be a copy of it if I go back to my I think it was title sheet I can drag that over and now I'll have if I needed the same exact view another thing is is if you go into it you can actually select that raster image and then copy it around so for example if you had a, a plan view you needed multiple images to be around you can do that you could also having the the view open that has that specific image for example this one you can take this we can do a control C go to level one plan view and then we can do a control V in here and paste that image but you're not going to have that ability to paste an image from a plan view to a sheet view so to quickly show you real quick I want to assign a number of images to a parameter so I'll right click over here and create a new schedule I'm just gonna say walls press OK and then I want to get the images so I'll press I jump down to the eyes add that parameter to the schedule press OK it's gonna open up that new parameter or that new schedule and we see we have a list of all the walls and then the the image parameter associated with it 
we can click those that little box with the three three dots and then we can assign different items or different images so for example I've pat this one we have zero instances so this isn't placed anywhere in the project and I just want to simply add this and you can add it to a number of items within there and it's going to update if we come back to the manage tab it's going to update every instance of that within the project if we come here and actually delete it it's going to work the same way as any other it's going to give us that prompt it says hey you're about to remove multiple instances throughout the project press ok and we can see now we have those uh, parameters uh, represented as none so nothing is there another thing is is we can insert images so like I said before you can come to manage image and you can add your image here and this may be a good workflow for if you want to apply it to specific parameters within your project um, and you don't want to visually represent those views then you may want to do it this way because this is going to add it so that you can when you're adding a parameter it'll pop this dialog box and give you the option to select it but say that's not what you want to do and you want to insert a new image you can come over here to the insert tab and do press the image button we're gonna to have to be in a plan view to do that so I'll switch back to level one and I'll come back up here select the image I'll grab that same one paste it and then if I come back to the manage tab we can see that we have that image here if I copy it around a little bit go back we can see every instance of it being updated press OK and we can do that for a number of images delete this and these images can also be associated with your your parameters as well the only uh, the only thing that I can think of that you would add it from here is if you just don't want it to visually be represented in your model and just at parameters that are associated with objects within your project so I hope this helps um, it helped me when I found this this button so hopefully it helps you in being a little bit more efficient within Revit and I appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot